How's it going guys? Angus here from Maker's Muse and I am back. So some of you may not have known this, but I have been in China for the past week. Which will probably explain to you some of you why I haven't been answering, comment, answering comments on YouTube. Because you kind of can't get onto YouTube in China. But I was invited there by Shining 3D to attend their first ever international partners conference. So Shining 3D make 3D scanners, 3D printers, and a heck of a lot of other cool crazy things. And I was there, invited there, as one of their media representatives, basically. And I was there filming pretty much everything. I have a hard drive full of content, which I'm going to be editing and putting together over the next coming few weeks. But yes, I am back here in Sydney. I'm a little bit tired. Jet lag wasn't too bad, two hours difference, but still pretty exhausting being on a 10 hour flight, which goes like all night. It's just something, it just does something to you. Anyway, here's a bit of a catch up. So back in Sydney, huge amount of work to do. So here's what I'm doing. I'm testing the Wanhao i3 Plus. Let's have a look at that. Right, so here we've got the Wanhao i3 Plus. So I'm currently printing some Makers coins because next weekend is Sydney Mini Maker Fair and I'm gonna have lots of these to give away on my booth. So if you don't know about Sydney Mini Maker Fair and you are in Sydney, Australia, well, you probably should attend because I'll be there. Nah, that's a little bit up myself. No, basically Sydney Mini Maker Fair is our, our Maker Fair. It's not as big as the New York or Bay Area Maker Fair in the States. But it is where you go to dis dis display your projects. If you're a company that sells electronics or robotics, or in my case, like a YouTube channel dis displaying 3D printing, that's where you can go to display your stuff to the general public. It's gonna be at the Sydney Powerhouse Museum as part of the uh, Sydney Science Festival, I think. And I'll put a link in the description to where you can find all the information. It is not free, it is a ticketed event because it is the Powerhouse Museum. But yeah, go along, bring your kids if you've got some, check it out, and check out the steam room while you're there because the Sydney, the Sydney Powerhouse steam room is phenomenal. It's so much fun. Uh, I'm also printing in Wiggle infill because I forgot to turn it off and that's a side effect of the infill video I did a while ago. But, oh well, some of you will get Wiggle coins if you come and say hi. Also printing on the up box. So I had a few issues before I went away on the up box under extruding and clicking. Um, it just turns out I needed to readjust the extruder. It's now printing beautifully in some kind of PLA. I don't know what. I uh, got the TiVo tar Tarantula. It is working. I just need to manage the wires now. So it comes with a wire management which will keep this all tidy. And it's not going to look all, um, all horrific like it is there. Uh, I got a piece of glass as well for the print bed. And the power supply and the uh, screen will have a mounting very shortly. But yeah, it works, it homes and it heats up. So pretty good so far. And over here I have a very big step for Maker's Muse. So this is an old mining uh, rig which I bought from Perth a while ago and brought it back across to Australia. So it's a Xeon, it's a six core, so hexa core with, with uh, 12 threads and 24 gigs of memory, DDR3. And this is gonna be the new Maker's Muse server. So something when I started this channel I didn't really think about is storage. Footage takes up so much space. So this is a massive investment. I put a lot of money into it before the end of financial year to basically get some hard drives to fill this up with. So I've got here, I have four, uh, four terabyte, I think they're Seagate. Yeah, Seagate uh, hard drives for a total of eight, gig of eight terabytes of storage in a RAID 10 array. So RAID 10 is one plus zero. So RAID zero is striped where you get double the speed and RAID one is mirroring where you get uh, redundancy by copying to two, two drives. So RAID 10 is a hybrid where you get twice the speed and also you get the redundancy. It's not the smartest way of uh, doing a RAID setup, but it is the best for speed. And I'm gonna be editing off this rig using a gigabit connection, so I need the speed. So, I'm gonna be putting that together and it's gonna be going into our new studio, which I'm so keen to tell you guys about. You'll be seeing more about it. <sighs> what else? I got the Cubicon Style finally, that's upstairs. It's gonna be reviewed. Uh, I have the Wanhao Duplicator 6, which is gonna be reviewed as well. Oh, so yeah, so much stuff to catch up with, but, um, I'm super keen to get into it. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Also, uh, I am currently watching my buddy Joel over at 3D Printing Nerd. Did you win the 30K competition? If you haven't seen it, you better go check it out. <laughs> I'm watching his story because he's been super busy as well at the uh, Nerd HQ, uh, Matter Hackers, and all sorts of things. So I'm watching that currently. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, guys, don't forget to subscribe to Make His Muse so you don't miss any future 3D printing tips, tricks, reviews. I mean, yeah, I went to China. I went to Shenzhen. I went to Hangzhou. Uh, went to Hong Kong. 
didn't stay in Hong Kong unfortunately, it was just a stopover. But yeah, I got lots of footage that you don't want to miss. So hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and I'll see you again very shortly here on Makers News. Catch you later guys, bye.